Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but your pee is actually really great fertilizer. Before moving to the Big Island, I'd never heard of this. It just was weird, I guess. But here is totally normal. Uh, this lady told me that if my plants ever look like they're not doing well, if they look a little bit yellow, that I should pee on them. So, um, yeah, then just more people were telling me about this. And then in class, they actually had a list of like all organ like organic fertilizers that you can uh, use from home and urine was one of them and it says you know MPK ratio 10% nitrogen 1% phosphorus and 4% potassium and like it's got to have like tons of other minerals depending on what you're eating like if you're eating uh, like a healthy diet I'm sure it has like other nutrients in there so Yesterday, I uh, I noticed in the orchard like four papayas that looked like really yellow for some reason. I think we just like uh, forgot about them. It happens here. We got we planted so many things that like you can't keep track of everything. So what I'm hoping to do here is I I peed all night in a bucket and. I also added some soapy dishwater from last night. It's got tons of like food particles in it. You know, maybe that's good too. I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna water it down a little bit, but my pee was pretty clear. It says it recommends to water it down five to uh, one or ten to one. Um, but I'm also gonna be adding it into some mulch too, so the mulch absorbs the uh, liquid and it doesn't send it right to the roots. So let's try that out. Right here we got the peak and we'll funnel it into to this here. To dilute this, I'm just going to put these two so they're at the same level and then add water. I'm not going to get like technical about it. It doesn't really matter too much as long as you're putting some water. And you figure out what the color should look like for clarity. Also, I want to mention the sooner you use it, the better. It's good within 12 hours. Um, otherwise, the nitrogen will start to turn to ammonia and then has to be converted back to nitrogen in the uh, soil. So it's best to use it 12 hours. You know, don't wait 12, more than 12 hours. You can still, still use it though. Some people actually uh, let it sit for a long time and like ferment. Some girl in class said she does it and it makes it more alkaline. I don't know. I, have, I don't have much experience with that, but maybe you can research it if you're interested. Here's the four papayas. So there's one, two, three, and four. Like you can really see compared to this this pigeon pea that the papaya is looking very yellow pale and it may have had something to do with the the mulch that I put it's not fully composted I'm just gonna take these two jugs and put half a jug on each one and then we'll see you know in a couple days what they look like not too close to the stem we're just gonna go like maybe six inches out about half. I ended up putting like a half gallon, like six inches to a foot from the base. Um, we're going to check back. Today is May 9th. We're going to check back um, 
couple days, you know, I'll check them every day, see what how they're doing. I've seen this work as fast as a day, but sometimes it takes two or three. Uh, I may even add a little more, you know. I'll let you know if I do that. But I'll show you in a couple days what they look like. Another really great thing you can do with your pea is you can add it to like a pile of wood chips or mulch. Um, the basic rules of composting is you need carbon and nitrogen and this mulch pile is just all carbon. So what I would recommend is like pee in a bucket, that way it's a lot of pee, and then just pour it right down in the middle, that way it penetrates all the way to the bottom and it's going to break it down a lot faster. And then you can you can use it a lot quicker. And it'll be more nutritious. It'll have a lot of like fertilizer in it. It's good. So it's about a week later. A little bit longer than I said it would be. But there's a couple factors that I think slowed it down a bit. One being it rained almost every day. So all the, the pee got diluted by the rain and the roots weren't able to absorb it. The other thing is the mulch that I added around wasn't really composted that well yet. It should sit for like six months and this mulch only has been sitting for two months. So that draws nitrogen out of the soil as well. So it, it took a week, but it worked. You know, I'll show you. It worked better on three of them. There's one that still doesn't look super great, but you, I'll show you like parts of the, the leaves look green and that's the part that's new like green the other parts that are yellow still that's what it used to look like so you'll get actually to see how much actually it helped here you can see where how what it used to look like the yellow in the middle there and then around like these veins is like darker green that's all from from using the pea it turns darker green and I think eventually the whole leaf will turn green it might take a little longer but the uh, the new leaves that are coming up those are like solid green so even if the old ones don't get like all green the new ones will be so here's one of the ones that it worked a little better on See, it's like pretty much solid green now. Because it was raining so much and like I said, the, uh, the mulch wasn't composted that well. I actually, every day almost, like every other day, I added another half gallon of diluted pea. Because, you know, the rain was just washing it out every day. It didn't get a chance to absorb in good. But hey, it's free and it's great for the plants, so you might as well use it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't be afraid to pee on your trees because it's good for them.